Hi there, I'm Jenna. I'm also Jenna. And I'm Jenna too. We're all the same person. <laughs> How does that work? So I'm in the meet and greet and there's a massive line and I had to wait there for two hours to get to the front of the line. But Jenna Marbles was in sight. She was there. I could see her. And I was like, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. So yeah, I didn't get to meet Ryan Heger, but um, you know, I was there for Jenna and I got to see Ryan perform on stage. But anyway, my phone was about to die, but I text my friend, she was about to get there in like an hour. And I'm like, um, I'm in the meet and greet. I can't explain my phone's about to die, but I'm in the meet and greet. I can try and get you in, but I don't know how I can. But you should come here. This is where I am, and I told her where I am because there was like a big window outside the partition bit where people were walking past could see um the meet and greet. And I was like, just come here and we'll figure out a way. And everyone's like trying to get into this meet and greet from this window and the security guys are like bouncing them back like, ha, like you can't get in and all that sort of thing. And so I'm waiting for my friend's about to die, but she shows up and she's out the window. She's like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Like, Rosie, you're in. And I'm like, yeah, I'm in. It's like, it's so exciting. And um, eventually, but the security guard wouldn't let her in. But this chick's a model. Like, this chick's hot. She... She, she, you may have seen her on a TV show uh, recently, but yeah, anyway, I'm not going to spoil that. Um, yeah, she, she's, she's hot. She's not able to talk her way through a, a hot security guard there. So he, this security guard manages to get everybody away except for her and another girl. And he's standing at like, there's like a partition and then there's like a table and he's standing at the table. And Sarah, like me, gets talking to people. And she's talking to the girl next to her. And she's like, oh, do you like Jenna Marbles or anything? And the girl's like, oh, no, like, I don't personally. But my boyfriend's in the meet and greet. He's right there. And I'm just waiting for him to finish and all that sort of thing. Um, he, like, wants to marry her. I'm really, like, worried he's going to run off with her and everything. She's like, oh, that's cute and everything. So she's talking to the security guy. And she's like, look, my friend's from Perth. And I'm from Perth. And we came here just for this. But there was only one meet and greet left. And I gave it to her. But is there any chance, like, you could let me in too? It'd be really awesome. Just one extra person, all that sort of thing. Actually, it was two, three, four. Depends how you want to look at it. Eventually, she got, you know, she sweet talked him and everything. He goes, okay, I'll let you in, but you have to run. And then she was like wearing a hat and a jumper, and everything. Like, you take your hat and your jumper off so that the other security guards don't recognize you, so I don't get in trouble. But I can't let you in until this other girl leaves because if I let you in, I can let her in, and it's a whole big thing. And she's like, okay, cool. So she goes over to the girl and she's like, mm, so who said that if you just go away, you will let me in? And she's like, oh yeah, sure, honey. Like I'll just go for a walk around and come back and everything. So she left. So I looks at the security guard. He, um, and she left. My friend looks at the security guard and he nods. She jumps over the desk. She bolts to me. She goes under the rope. She rips off her hat. She rips off her jumper. And she's there. We're in, we're in the Jenna Marble meeting group. Oh my god. And we're just like, this is not happening. This isn't happening. My friend's in there for free. I'm in there. You know, I bought a Ryan Higa thing, but I swapped it. I wasn't even meant to be in there. It was sold out. I'm in there. So we're waiting in line and we get there. And I go up to Jenna when I get to the front of the line and I was holding it together. I was like, I'm going to cry, I'm going to cry, I'm going to cry. And I got up to her and I went, oh, God. I was so to cry. She goes, honey, what's wrong? And she gives me a hug. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm touching Jenna Marbles. This is insane. And I told her about um, a few months earlier, I would written a letter to her on Facebook about a New York Times article what they did on her or I'll I'll link it below um and how GMA was really horrible to her and all that sort of thing and I'll link the letter below too. Anyway, I told her that I was the person that wrote that because she never replies to hardly anyone on Facebook. And she replied to me and she said that it was amazing. She wanted to internet pub me a million times. She really appreciated it. And she goes to me, That was you? Oh my goodness, I'm so happy to meet you. And she hugged me and then she was crying and I was like, oh my God. She goes, you know, things like that like really helped me get through this and make me so happy and to see that people understand they care. And we just had like a moment and then my friend came over and had a moment with her and then we had all jokes and all that sort of thing. And she was wearing high heels. I'm like, we give you permission to break up with your heels. And she's like, never, never going to take these off and all that sort of thing. We got her autograph and it's framed right here. Right here is the Jenna Marbles autograph.
drop. Yay! So yeah, that's the autograph and it's got my name on it, so I kept that as a bag there. And um yeah, so we left the meet and greet and we're like, this is so good. We got some drinks and we put on our onesies and we went and watched the acts and we got to watch Tabustius and we got to watch Ryan here and we were right at the front for Ryan here and everyone spoiled that thing where he was getting up to the front of the stage and he was going to be like, so I'm in Sydney for Vidink and everyone's so excited to see me and then turn to the crowd and we're like, awesome. But then people would be like, woo, we had to do three takes and you didn't get it. So if you watch his video, we're all like screaming and stuff because it didn't work. I feel so silly. And then, anyway, um, we're waiting for Jenna Marbles to come on. Everyone's shouting, Jenna, 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 Jenna. And the host comes on and he's like, I'm really sorry, but Jenna's done something amazing and she's gone like five hours over her meet and greet. So unfortunately, she's too exhausted from spending time with fans to come on stage. So that's the end of Vinny. See you later. Well, number one host, can you, you know, have a bit of fanfare about it? You don't just go, okay, sorry, the main act's not coming on. Bye. Like, that was really unprofessional in such an anti-climate, so what was already a pretty crap day for most people as well, like, the part of the meeting in general was amazing, but, you know, the rest of it was pretty crap. Um, so, you know, everyone was really disappointed, and if I hadn't met Jenna that day and hustled my way into that meet and greet, what, what would have happened? Like, I wouldn't have got to see her at all, so lucky I had done that. And then I went back to the... <laughs> I'm not going to tell you this bit, but I'm going to, um, because it's just, it's just a cherry on top. So we were, like, pretty elated that we'd met Jenna and, um, even though we didn't get to see her on stage and everything and that we'd had that opportunity. I went up to where I bought the meet and greets and I went, look, um, I didn't get to see Ryan because he was late, um, and I got to see a different person instead that I had a meet and greet for, so I'd really like my money back. And by that time, they were just so tired from the day, they're like, yeah, sure, so they gave me my $30 back. Diva is a female version of a hustler. <laughs> of a hustler. <laughs> yeah, so, um, I'm not sure if that's theft or not, but, uh, there you go. So, yeah, we left. We were pretty happy with meeting Jenna and getting our way in and just the whole sort of adventure of it all, yeah? You know, so that was, um, that and... If that gets me in trouble by any Vidink or YouTube persons, or you know you just found it entertaining that that happened, I'm glad you enjoyed this video. I really enjoy telling this story. Um, it's just I'll never forget it. It's just something great that happened in my life. It was really interesting. I was being a little bit badass, a little bit naughty. Because, you know, back in the day I used to be a little rebel child, and now I'm really boring. I sit at home on a Friday night and watch Disney movies with my boyfriend, like, instead of going, like, clubbing, um, like, a normal 18-year-old, so, there you go, um, and if you have any bidding stories, please comment below, I'd love to share, I'd love to see if we bump into each other, or if there's any videos that you've seen from the event, I know it was, like, a year ago, but, yeah, I'm going to stop talking now, because this video is already really long, I've been talking for 25 minutes, I don't know how I'm going to edit this to make it a reasonable length to watch. Maybe I'll do it in two parts. I don't know. But thank you for watching. I love you if you did. And bye. I got three looks. Three looks. Three looks. Three looks. I got three looks. And that's it. You got a homeless man, a 12 year old boy, and a hooker. And that's all I know how to do. So if you meet me, I'll look like one of these three things. But it's still me, I swear. So I made this song so you could know. Ha <laughs> ha!